I am so effing tired of the amount of emotional labor that comes with dating black men. A woman is going viral for saying she's not gonna date black men anymore, and she's actually getting support for saying it. Let's talk about it. So this TikTok video from Michaela Elise has gone viral with nearly 200,000 likes. But before we get into it, please like and subscribe. I want as many people to find this channel as possible so you know what to do. I'm fully aware that I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I am so effing tired of the amount of emotional labor that comes with dating black men. I am so tired of the lack of commitment, the lack of support, the lack of encouragement, the lack of money. Like, I don't know what to do from this point on, but I can tell you one thing. My interest in dating another black man is like 1% at this point. They want us to be ride or dies until they get their shit together. And then they don't want to support us in return. They don't want to commit to us. They don't want to marry us, but then they want all the benefits of being a husband without actually proposing to us. I need someone who's intentional in every single aspect. Okay, so she had a lot to say, a lot to unpack there. She talked about a lack of emotional support, a lack of commitment, a lack of money, and she is specifically attributing this to black men. First and foremost, what I want to say is that you can find men like this of any race. Fact. So I just want to make that abundantly clear. We can talk about which race you're more likely to find this style of man in dating. But I do just want to say you will find men like this across the spectrum of, of skin color, of race, of nationality, of all these different things. I expected this video to go viral for a very different reason than it did. I was expecting to hop into the comments and see a bunch of women calling her racist, men being angry about what she's saying. This is emotion. I'm mad. The social justice activist coming after this woman for posting this video. Video, but you actually find the exact opposite. I think the most prevalent comment that you'll see in this comment section is black women absolutely applauding what is being said in this video. One says a lack of emotional availability and it has 25,000 likes. One says, woo, I love when people say the quiet parts out loud. They suck the energy out of us and then complain when we beg for them to meet our needs. Struggle love. I'm done with struggle love associated with dating them. It's like they don't like us no more. And that has 14,000 likes. A lot of women echoing this sentiment, which I find to be really interesting, especially within a racial category where in my own experience, it's typically been said that you need to date within your race and that you should find another black person to go proceed into marriage with, to create a family with, as to keep blackness sort of insular and stay within your race as far as dating pertains. And women, I guess, are no longer doing that. I do want to say there's an element of taking accountability for your actions. You have to have discernment when it comes to the people that you're dating. And if you're meeting a man who doesn't want commitment, has a lack of accountability, a lack of money, a lack of responsibility. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. You have to be able to discern that and leave. So a lot of it is about the choices that you are making yourself. But is there backing to what she's saying? Are you more likely to find this within black men when compared to other races? There are some people who are backing this up and saying that this is true. Now, I don't know the background of this man, but he did make a video about your odds of finding a black man that meets your standards in dating if that is solely what you're looking for. So I wanted to break it down to let you know how difficult you are making your love life be just by focusing on black men. So for every 100 men, 13% of those men are black. So you have 13 men out of 100. Now, 80% of those guys are not gonna be ready for a relationship. That's across the board. Any color <laughs> of guy, they're just not gonna be ready if they're single, yeah? So we go from 13 to three. Now, if we take into account unemployment, underemployment, gay, and in prison, you are looking at two out of every 100 men, two black men, out of every hundred men that are going to be bare minimum available for a relationship. So that's really interesting to hear broken down, that if you're looking for solely these needs to be met, you're looking at one in 50 odds on that, or two in 100, which I don't know how valid these stats are. So <laughs> we're just gonna assume that what is being said here is semi close to what the truth is. Now, you'll hear a lot of young women, especially in this modern day and age, say, I want to date a guy who is making six figures and he's six foot or taller. He's tall and he's bilingual. I'm short and I can't speak English. Good. He's got a graduate degree. If you account and add in those metrics for finding a black man in particular to date, you're looking at 
one out of 250 odds, which is just crazy to think that you would find somebody with those odds and be able to build a, a long-term relationship with them. So you're telling me there's a chance. Now, if you take all of that out and say, you know what, I just want to date all men of all races and see what I find, your odds go to one in seven. I think maybe there are cultural issues within the black community that are pointing men in the direction of maybe having a lack of accountability, a lack of wanting commitment, and looking for these sort of ride or die girls who are going to stick by you while you struggle through life and don't make a commitment to them. I think there's something to be said for that. And maybe I only know that anecdotally through the black men that I have encountered who have wanted dates or are trying to build some sort of pseudo relationship where there's no commitment. I don't want to speak and say this is a hard and fast rule because of course there are plenty of very good black men out there who I'm sure are looking for relationships and long-term committed ones. But there is something to be said when you see the numbers broken down like this. And even more so than that, I want to attack the idea that anybody should have to date within their race. You're gonna find people of all different races who are willing to meet your needs, who you're gonna be attracted to, who you wanna build a fruitful life with. And if you're constantly taking into account this factor of race, which is arbitrary, superficial, means absolutely nothing, you're gonna have a hard time. Irrespective of whether or not you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. We should be race neutral in our approach to dating because we want to live in a race neutral world where that stuff doesn't matter. Now, if you're a black, man who solely wants to date black women and that's what you're looking for in the world right now, maybe you got some steps to take to meet their needs. Or if you're a black man who is already doing that, then I guess you have the playing field right now because your cohorts are not doing the exact same thing and they're not meeting the needs of black women in particular. And there seems to be a through line that these women are longing to find relationships, but they can't find men to meet their standards. So here we are. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this subject because because like I said, I did not expect a video to go viral like this with such positivity and people affirming and saying that this message is resonating with them with what they're seeing within the black community. Let me know why you think people might be thinking this. Maybe you are thinking this yourself and you've had this experience with black men or men of any race. Drop that in the comments down below. And as always, we encourage healthy debate. So duke it out, but do so respectfully. Guys, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every day so you don't want to miss out.